Hey, it's Tab Drummo. In this video, I'm going to show you the new LinkedIn profile and the hotspots where you need to really focus your efforts so you make a great first impression so you can generate more business from LinkedIn. So the first thing we see on this new layout is the background header. This is the space behind here. You can customize this background area. So it's very important that you add something back there. You see that you really have to work on the sizing as LinkedIn changes its layouts. You know, some words will show up, some will not. And after I complete this section on the desktop, I'll show you what it looks like on the mobile phone, which is even more important because about 60% of LinkedIn traffic now comes from mobile devices. So I'll show you both in these videos. So number one spot is this background header. Next, people are gonna see your picture right here in the middle here. This is really critical to have a professional picture there. You can't just have a, a cropped photo anymore, a blurry photo. You really need to make a great first impression, especially on the mobile device. Next is your name field right here. A lot of people like to stuff keywords in their last name field. It's against LinkedIn's terms of service, so don't do it. It's also, it just confuses people. If they're searching for Victoria Myers, the LinkedIn search engine isn't that smart, so it may not be able to find that person if you have a lot of extra words stuffed in here, keyword phrases. So if you have a certification like CPA, or you know JD, something like that, put one there. You don't need to put them all in there. Add the rest in your certifications. The next spot we need to look at is the professional headline. This is where you're gonna grab people's attention. This is really how it's going to, don't use your job title. By default, LinkedIn stuffs your job title and your company name in there, but you want to stand out from the crowd. So Victoria says she's the Bay Area's number one computer consultant, a local small businesses, co-owner of Myers Network Solutions. Now, if I was Victoria, I wouldn't bother putting this because this is just a job title that's going to show up further down in your profile. This is where it's really important to, on that first part of your professional headline even, really have something that's going to grab their attention. The Bay Area's number one computer network consultant. Because Let me show you why this is going to show up over here and people also viewed. And most of your profile views are going to show up over here. So here Richard Young's, look at this, he's kind of stealing Victoria's Bay Area top IT professionals and consultants for your business. We handle your IT so you can focus on your business. See that got my attention. He could say he's the owner of some IT consulting firm which is boring like here, entrepreneur. Is that gonna make you wanna click on there? Think of these as little ads. You wanna get people to click on these to view your profile to learn more about you. So he's Rob specializing in cloud and IT solutions. You get the idea. You want to really grab people's attention up front here. So the first part of this phrase especially is important. So next, let's get into, here it's gonna put your company name and where you're located and how many people are in your network. Here's something new with the new layout. These are the first two lines of your summary. So it's important to really look at your summary here. Again, I like to like grab their attention here. So it's like the title of a book or title of an article, or if you're doing advertising online, you want a good headline to grab their attention, make them click, and then they're gonna learn more about you here. So who's Victoria? She's the founder. She's talking about herself. So the way I teach it, it's different. Flip it over. So here I have computer problems. I'm looking for the best Bay Area consultant that can help me. She's got my attention up here. So continue that. Like what are their biggest problems to keep them up at night? You want to get them thinking about that right there. How you solve their problems. What are the biggest problems? And then further down your summary, you show them how you solve them. Okay, so here is what Victoria's profile looks like on a mobile device. I talked about the background header here, and you see how it's all cut off now. There's very little showing, so you really have to resize those. Talk to your graphic designer and show them what kind of space we have to work with. It's, it's really limited on the mobile phone, but See, we got some information here, Myers Network Solutions. We gotta get something. She can have her phone number here or her website or something. 
But instead of just leaving this blank with the default, you know, LinkedIn, it's just a very general looking image or using one of LinkedIn's general images, get your brand name up here and a way for them to contact you. So this is a first impression. And if we know mobile devices, we're going to scan quickly and any way we can grab their attention. This is the first place their eyes are going to go. And then here's the picture again. So you have a good, clear, professional headshot. Just look, it makes your company look more professional, makes you look more professional. And here's another reason right here why you shouldn't add too many characters to your name here, Victoria Myers. If you had a bunch of keywords stuffed in here, it would be cut off. It just wouldn't look professional. And your professional headline here and your company name, your location. Here it is, who's Victoria Myers. So this actually looks pretty interesting. That's gonna make me may, may wanna click on that to learn more about that. I'm the founder of Director of Operations. See, I like to just use that other approach. What's in it for me? You know, Brian Tracy always taught that, W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? I have a problem, I'm looking for a solution. So focus on the people you're serving. Flip it over to a client-centric profile and headline and summary. So get their attention, what are their problems, how you solve them, and you'll get lots more LinkedIn profile views. And for me personally, the more people that view my profile, the more people connect with me, the more business I get. So think about your LinkedIn profile as a little sales page in a way. So you want to get people's attention, show them how you can help them, and get them to connect with you and build a relationship. So Go ahead and implement those and I'll, as LinkedIn rolls out more updates, I'll keep you updated with more videos like this. Go to tedpadromo.com or socialsellingminute.com where I have lots of great information about how to keep your LinkedIn profile up to date and relevant. For more free training, visit socialsellingminute.com.